Hello, my name is Les Brown. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about the mindset of the entrepreneur. You know, it took a friend of mine 14 years to convince me to do what I'm doing right now. I kept putting it off. You know why? Because I didn't believe in myself. I don't have a college education. And I felt that even though he believed in me and I didn't believe in myself, I felt inferior to people with college educations. He kept saying to me, Les, you can do more than be a disc jockey. I was a radio personality in Columbus, Ohio. And all the occasions that we got together, he would always continue to come back to me again and again and again. In fact, I just asked him a few weeks ago, I said, look here, tell me, what, what made you stay in my ear? And he said, I just felt it was my duty. And you know, sometimes in life, you have to believe in somebody's belief in you until your belief kicks in. Now, I don't know you, I can't even see you, but here's what I know about you, that you have something special. You have greatness within you. I can say that to you based upon my own experience. If anybody told me just getting started, so I don't know what you do, you might be selling a product, a service, you might have some skill and knowledge that people need right now. I don't know what you do, but here's what I know. You don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. If anybody told me just having the courage to get started, that it was possible that I could earn more, that I can touch people's lives, that I could do things that I didn't even realize that I could do, I can just tell you right now, one of the things that you have to do is just decide, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this happen. I remember once going to an event, and, and they had a variety of motivational speakers there. And one of the guys that opened for Zig Ziglar, he was quiet, uh, he had low energy, he didn't have any personality. In fact, he was boring. The audience is quiet as a graveyard between funerals. And I remember going to sleep and the audience woke me up with polite applause. And I said, man, he was boring. I did not know at that time I was seated next to his brother-in-law. And he said, you ought to be that boring and make the kind of money you made. I said, well, how much did he make? He said, $5,000. I looked at my watch. I said, $5,000. I said, I know I could do that. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? That you saw somebody do something, you say, hey, if they could do it, I can do it. And from that time to this time, I'll never forget something that he said. The speaker on the platform, he said, I know that I don't have personality and passion and energy. I know that I'm boring. He said, but the reason I'm standing up here and you are seated out there, it's because I represent the thoughts you have rejected for yourself. Whoa, man, when he said that, that hit me dead between the eyes because I remember saying to myself, I can't do that, I don't have a college education. I can't do that, Mike. I've never worked for AT&T, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's Corporation, IBM, Xerox. I can't compete with the guys, those guys out there. I don't have the resources. I don't have a four-color brochure. Had all of these excuses. I remember one day I was talking to him, and the, the line went dead. And I called him back. I said, hey, Mike. I said, we lost the signal. He said, we didn't lose the signal. I said, what happened? He said, I hung up. I said, well, why would you do that? He said, you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. <laughs> I said, oh my God. He said, you better hope I win this conversation. I said, okay, talk to me, talk to me. And, and I tell you, I'm so glad that he did that. From that time to this time, I've traveled around the world. From that time to this time, I went from earning $50 an hour to $25,000 an hour because I got started. From that time to this time, I went from just speaking locally to speaking around the world and getting over $125,000 an hour. I had no idea. There are things that you're going to be able to do that eye has not seen, ear has not heard. There are things that you have in you that you don't even know. But until you get outside of your comfort zone, you will never discover it. You have something special. You have greatness within you. But in order to manifest your greatness, you've got to put yourself in a perpetual state of discomfort. Yes, you've got to challenge yourself. You've got to raise the bar on yourself. You've got to get busy. You've got to work your plan. Even if you've got a job right now, you've got to work yourself out of it. You've got to have an exit date where you say, hey, I've had it. It's time for me to do me to pursue my dream, to work my plan, to implement the things that I want for myself and for my family and for 
for my kids. And, and what is your legacy? What do you want to do for yourself? In my case, I wanted to be able to take care of my mother. I'm adopted. And I feel like Abraham Lincoln who said, all that I am and all that I ever hope to be, I owe to my mother. My mother adopted six kids. And along with me, that made seven. And she was a domestic worker on Miami Beach. And I said, Mama, she said, what is it, Leslie? One day, when I become grown, I'm going to buy your home. I'm going to buy you a big, beautiful home just like this. I bought my mother the first home, 10,000 square feet, had a 12-foot deep Olympic-sized swimming pool on a golf course, and I would have never been able to do that had I not got started with my dream. And so at the end of the day, you have something special. You, you're watching this right now for a reason, because you have something of value. This is your time. And as you begin to look at yourself and look at your goals and look at your dreams, decide that you're going to focus on your strength. What is it you want to do? And, and decide that you're going to master that, that you can say to yourself, I got this. This, this is my space. And, and when you do that, when you find something that is your passion, that turns you on, when you do that to the best of your ability, they, they said that success is doing what you love to do. You do it so well that people are pay you to do it. That's what I do as a speaker. You know, I, I love to talk. And, and so I find people to pay me to talk to them. <laughs> and so you want to have a good time. You want to enjoy yourself. And you want to get out of your fear and, and just become bold. I believe leap and grow your wings on the way down. Absolutely. Well, I don't know what to do. Well, just get started. If you, you turn right, if you're running in the wrong direction, just turn around and you'll be going in the right direction. Just get started doing what you're supposed to do. Get busy and you'll be surprised at the breakthrough. You'll be surprised at how things begin to come together for you. I had no idea. I had no idea. So I want to leave this with you. You have something special. The world is waiting. There are customers that are waiting for your services, for your product, for your ideas, for your skills, for your expertise. It's time for you to show up. Absolutely. Stand up for your dream. Stand up for your business. Make it happen. This is Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. You've got greatness within you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.